guys, this is Mr. Millings, and today we're going to learn about dimensional analysis. So what is dimensional analysis and how does it work? Well, it says here that dimensional analysis is the process of using known equivalent statements or conversion factors to convert between different units of a specific quantity. So let's take a look at an example and apply what this, this little meaning of dimensional analysis uh, means. Let's suppose, for example, uh, we have 365 days, and we want to know how many seconds this is. So we want to know how many seconds are there in 365 days. Well, in order to do this, we will have to use what is known as dimensional analysis. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come up with a series of what are called equivalent statements to help solve this little problem. So. If we take a look here, we are going to use three different equivalent statements to solve this little problem. So we're starting off with 365 days, right? We want to cancel out the unit day, so we're going to put that unit on the bottom of this little equivalent statement right here. And we're going to first break this day down into hours. So we know that there are 24 hours in one day. This right here is called an equivalent statement. An equivalent statement and you can basically think of an equivalent statement as a conversion factor expressed as a fraction okay so we know there are 24 hours in a day and then take a look what happens the unit day on top will cancel out with the day on bottom leaving us with hours but we don't want hours we're trying to find out how many seconds are in 365 days so now we need to break hours down so we come up with a second equivalent statement and we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour and take a look at what happens now the unit hour on top is going to cancel with the unit hour on bottom leaving us with the unit minute but we don't want minutes again we want seconds so we're gonna have to come up with a third and final equivalent statement and we know from prior knowledge that 60 seconds uh, are in one minute and take a look at what happens here the unit minute on top cancels with the unit minute on bottom leaving us with this unit left over, seconds. And now we just take a calculator out and we take 365 times 24 times 60 times 60, and we end up with this answer right here. So how many seconds are there in one year, or how many seconds are there in 365 days? Well, we just use dimensional analysis and a series of equivalent statements to solve this problem. 365 days, or one year, is the same thing or equal to 31,536,000 seconds. All right, so that's dimensional analysis. Let's take a look at some equivalent statements next. All right, so when we're using dimensional analysis, we're going to have to use a series or several different types of equivalent statements. So what is an equivalent statement? Well, it says right here, an equivalent statement is basically a conversion factor expressed as a fraction. And if you take a look, we have several different equivalent statements in these little boxes here. For example, right here, we have an equivalent statement, one meter over 1,000 millimeters. This means that one meter is the same thing as 1,000 millimeters. And if we want to reverse this or flip this, we can. We can also say that 1,000 millimeters is the same thing as one meter. These are both acceptable equivalent statements. If we take a look right here, we know one foot is 12 inches, or if we flip this fraction over or upside down, we know 12 inches in one foot, another set of equivalent statements. We also know that one yard is three feet, and if we flip this fraction, we know that three feet is one yard. All right, looking over here, we, have, we know that one day is 24 hours, or that there are 24 hours in one day set of equivalent statements. We know one mile is 5,280 feet or 5,280 feet is one mile if we flip this fraction. And last but not least, another equivalent statement right here. One mile is 1,760 yards or there are 1,760 yards in one mile. All right, so equivalent statements are conversion factors expressed as a fraction and we can flip these fractions around depending on what it is that we're trying to solve for. So let's use some of these equivalent statements in some uh, example dimensional analysis problems. All right, in this first example, it says uh, you have two and a half miles, and we want to figure out how many inches this is. So what we have to do 
is we have to put the starting information right here, 2.5 miles. So we're starting off with two and a half miles. And what we want to know is how many inches this is. So we have to break the miles down. Let's first break these miles down into feet. All right, we know that there are 5,280 feet in one mile. Or if we flip this, right, if we flip this fraction upside down, we know that one mile is 5,280 feet. So how do we know which equivalent statement to use? Are we going to use this equivalent statement or are we going to use this equivalent statement in our next step? Well, take a look here. We are starting with miles here and we want to cancel this unit miles. So we're going to put that at the bottom of our next equivalent statement and convert this to feet. So if you take a look, which, which of the two equivalent statements does this look like? We have feet on top and miles on the bottom. It looks like we're going to use this one for our next equivalent statement. So we know that there are 5,280 feet in one mile. Take a look at what happens now. Miles will cancel. Top and bottom cancel, leaving us with feet. But we don't want feet. We want to figure out how many inches there are in this many miles. So what do you think you're going to have to do next? You're going to have to come up with an equivalent statement. And you're going to have to cancel out feet, so that's going to go at the bottom of your next equivalent statement. And you're going to have to convert this to inches, so that will go on top. And now, what's the relationship between these two units? Well, you know one foot is 12 inches. Feet on top cancel with feet on bottom. And now, you are left with inches as your final unit. And you will just take a calculator out now and solve this problem. So if we get a calculator out, pull my calculator out. We have 2.5 times 5,280 times 12. And we end up with 158,400. We'll put the answer down here. And we're not going to use sig figs in our answer. So we end up with 158,400 inches. So this is not the correct number of sig figs. And if you wanted to put this in the correct number of sig figs, your answer must contain two sig figs. We will end up with 160,000 inches. Okay. So two and a half miles is the same thing as this right here using dimensional analysis. Let's take a look at another example. All right, in this problem here, you have 3.4 times 10 to the 8 seconds. We want to know how many days this is. So let's go ahead and start this problem. We're starting off with 3.4 times 10 to the 8 seconds. And what we want to do is we want to convert this to days. So let's work our way up. Let's work our way up to minutes first. So we know... Um, Let's see here. We need to cancel out the unit seconds, so we'll put that at the bottom. We're going to convert it to minutes. We know that there are 60 seconds in a minute. This unit will now cancel, leaving us with minutes. Let's work our way up again. We want to cancel out minutes now and convert this to hours. We know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. This unit will now cancel, leaving us with hours. But we want days, so we need to cancel out hours. We're going to put that at the bottom. We're going to convert that to days. We'll put that at the top. And we know that there are 24 hours in one day. This unit will now cancel with this unit, leaving us with days left over. We'll put the answer down here. So we'll get our calculator out. We'll take 3.4 times 10 to the 8th. Do this in the calculator. 3.4 times 10 to the 8th times, I'm sorry, divided by, since all these uh, numbers here other than 1 are on the bottom, we're going to divide by 60, divided by 60, divided by 24, and we end up with a total of 3,935.2 days.
3,935.2 days. So 3.4 times 10 to the 8 seconds is the same thing as this many days. And if you're using the correct number of significant figures, so there's two sig figs here, this is equal to 3,900 days. Okay, so either one of these answers should be acceptable. Let's take a look at another example. All right, let's take a look at this final answer, or final, uh, final problem, final example problem. It says you have four and a half gallons. You want to figure out how many cups this is. So we're starting off with 4.5 gallons. We want to cancel out the unit gallon. And we want to break this down. So let's first convert this to... Uh, quarts. You know that one gallon is four quarts. Gallons will now cancel out, leaving us with quarts. We're going to put quarts on the bottom now because we want to cancel this out. And let's convert this to pints first, break it down. We know that uh, there are two pints and one quart. Quarts will now cancel, leaving us with pints. So we want to cancel out the unit pints. We'll put that at the bottom, and we want to convert this to cups. And last but not least, we know that there are two cups and one pint. This unit now will cancel with this unit, leaving us with cups left over. And if we get our calculator out and take 4.5 times 4 times 2 times 2, Four and a half times four times two times two, we should end up with 72 cups. So four and a half gallons is the same thing as 72 cups. So this is a dimensional analysis in a nutshell. In chemistry, we use dimensional analysis quite a bit. We'll be using it all year. Uh, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and click this little bomb in the right-hand corner, and I hope you found this helpful.